I'm back. I'm here to let y'all know what's been going on the last three weeks. Quick update. I'm done with my Snyder training. I'm going to give you an update on that. Uh, my future in personal training and fitness. And I'm done with Cody. And just a general update on what's been going on the last three weeks. Let's get into it. All right, Life Gamers, after a long four-week period, I am officially done with my Snyder training, and I just want to let you guys know what you have to expect if you're getting into the industry and you're going to go to Snyder. Um, for those that have been following me for my fitness videos, I'm better understanding the schedule, so I'll soon be getting back to that. And um, for those that have followed me for Cody, I got some bad news for you. I'm getting out of that. I'm going to usher you over to my boy Mark Rollins. He'll be able to take care of you in that regard. Guys, I just got back from the gym. This is my um, three days off before I hit the road in my new truck. Uh, missing my big head wife. She's not here. She's away. I'll catch her next weekend. So let's just go over what I've been doing. First of all, I finished all my training at Snyder last week. And guess what? I'm in one of those first classes that's getting an automatic truck. I know you old school guys are like, oh, you getting the automatic truck. You know, I don't care. Y'all can say what y'all want to. The automatic truck that I'm getting is better on fuel. It's going to reduce distraction. So when you try to make them turns, you ain't got to worry about getting in gears. They've got all this brand new technology on the truck. When you put it in cruise control, it slows down for you. Somebody cuts in front of you. It goes up and down hills and adjusts the speed for you. Uses the jake brake if you need it. All I got to do is just concentrate, drive slow, and um, get my deliveries on time and be safe. And I'm happy about that. So I digress. So if you're going to go to Snyder after you get your CDL, you have that option. Let me explain to you what's going to happen over week one. Week one is going to be a lot of classroom stuff. Um, the first day, they're going to do um, testing. Um, they're going to do another screening and drug test. And let me just tell you guys what happened. I was supposed to be over the road with a partner that I met in CDL school, right? Um, he passed the drug test in CDL school. And we decided to team up because he had driven before 10 years ago. So I was going to do over the road with him and um, try to learn from him and have somebody to talk to. My man gets happy. I don't know what he did in between CDL school and Snyder um, drug testing, but Snyder is going to have you guys do a hair test and a urine test. He passed the hair, I mean the urine test, and flunked the hair test. So in between CDL school and Snyder training, which was about four weeks, something happened, and he calls me up and said that we can't partner up. Um, you know, I would hurt a little bit, but at the same time, it's probably a good thing. Um, so I'm not into any of that stuff, and you don't want anyone to compromise you on the road. So. I wanted initially signing up for over the road um, because that's all they said they had at the time. But I'll be regional, which means I'll be able to get home uh, every weekend. When you're over the road, you're probably not going to get home for two weeks or maybe three weeks. So, you know, of course, that made my wife happy. It made me happy because I, I do love my wife and want to see her weekly as we're going through these steps of um, learning and progressing. So just be mindful of that, y'all. If you're going to go to Snyder, they're going to do a hair test and they're going to do a drug test. Don't do nothing to mess up your career again. get That's what you're going to do on the first day. They're going to have you lifting weights. They're going to have you pushing. They're going to have you ducking. They're going to have you climbing. They want to know that you can do all the things associated um, with trucking. And then the, very, the next day, they're going to have you meet your trainer who's going to take you out in the yard, um, teach you how to couple and uncouple properly, take you on the road a little bit do those type of things and another thing that you're going to want to have at Snyder guys some slip resistant boots I've got Tim's just look underneath the bottom of the shoe if it says slip resistant or resistant that'll work you can get some from Walmart for $25 if you've got Tim's just look underneath and see if they've got that if you don't have that first day of Snyder they're going to make you sign a little thing to get the shoe that's going to cost you $35 out of your first check and I'm telling you, if you got Tim's, just look underneath there to see if it says oil resistant or go to Walmart and get some. They're going to give you one of these that you have to wear when you're on the yard, along with your slip resistant shoes. You're going to want some gloves too. So I went to the dollar store, got these gloves, 
And I got these for when I'm gonna be fueling. So you're gonna want those things too, guys. Just kind of let you know what to expect and how to be prepared when you start with Snyder. So that's gonna be week one. And week two is when you're gonna go out with your trainer. And let's just talk about what makes a good trainer. A good um, CDL trainer is gonna be like a personal trainer. He's gonna push you. You know, you gotta expect that. He's gonna push you to try to bring the best out of you. Personal trainers do the same thing. My trainer, Will Powell, he pushed me to my limits so that I could unlock things that I didn't know I could do. Your uh, over the road trainer is gonna be the same thing. Let me just say, if you're gonna be from Snyder OC in Charlotte, if you can get with a guy named David Sawyer, you're gonna be in good hands. That was my over the road trainer. Um, guys, he did push me. He pushed me to see what I could do. And having said that, a good trainer is gonna push you without disrespect. Because I've heard horror stories about trainers that cuss you out and have you doing stuff you're uncomfortable doing. That's not a good trainer. And if you get with someone like that, guys, you need to say something. Because this is your life on the line along with the trainer. And so having said that, Mr. Sawyer is a man of, a man of Christ. Um, he pushed me, but he didn't disrespect me. He helped me learn. Um, as a matter of fact, my first day of driving, um, and I had to adjust to Mr. Sawyer's schedule. He likes to get up three, four o'clock in the morning in the dark. So just think about this for my first time driving and all I'm used to driving is little Mazda Miatas. My first time driving with Mr. Sawyer, I'm up four o'clock in the morning on somewhat of a cold, icy day in the mountains of West Virginia. So all that stimulus is bothering me. Night driving, the mountains, we had a heavy load, um, you know, maybe ice, and a little bit of fall, wasn't dense fall, but a little bit of fall. I'm dealing with all that. And you know, one thing I learned was when you're going up a hill, sometimes you have to downshift because of the weight of the trailer pulling you back. So I had to do all that in the beginning. And that was a push for me, but you know what? Mr. Sawyer was respectful. He didn't ask me to do anything I felt uncomfortable doing. The only thing me and him bumped heads with was he wanted me to keep my speed a little higher than what I wanted it. Um, and he was just trying to coach me that when you're a driver, you gotta try to stay within a certain speed. He didn't have me speeding, I'm not saying that. But you know, I wanted to go about 45, 50 around the mountains. He wanted me to keep it more like 55, 60. So that was the only area we kind of we kind of bumped heads, but at the end of the day, he was he was cordial about it, and he didn't have me do anything I didn't want to do. So that was week two. Then week three, guys, you're going to come back to the OC. You're going to be in the classroom and learning how to trip plan. Trip planning, guys, are going to give you a little pumpkin pad so that you can write down um, all the stuff you need to know about your shipper and your co-signee so that when you get there, you have all the information. You can just flip to this when you go and meet the people at the gate. They're also going to give you this Rand McNally Atlas that you can use to do your trip planning. And guys, you can also, um, they're going to teach you how to use the Quailcom, um, which is going to be your navigator. And at Snyder, they call it Jill. And you're going to see a video with a little cute girl, and I'm telling y'all, that ain't Jill. They can say that's Jill, but Jill voice don't sound like that. So you'll be learning all that in week three. They're going to let you meet your DBL. And um, then they're gonna sign you a truck. Most of y'all nowadays are probably gonna get automatic trucks. I think it's still good that you learn how to shift on a manual, just in case they gotta put you on a replacement truck for any reason, the truck might break down or whatever, you know how to do it. So um, be prepared for that. And then guys, from there, um, you hit the road. You know, um, everything that you have learned, you'll be prepared for it. And during that third week, one of those days, you're gonna spend the whole day out with a trainer um, using the navigation system, putting all the stuff that they've taught you on that first day of the third week together so that you can really know what you're doing when you get out there on your own. So um, here's my plan to stay in shape, ladies and gentlemen. As you all know, if you followed me a while, you know um, I went from 300 some odd pounds down to about 200, got my body fat down real low. And over the last three or four weeks, my goal was just to maintain 210 pounds really learn how I can put fitness, mix fitness with driving trucks. And I think I'm learning how to do that. So guys, I will be getting back on my fitness videos real soon. And so what I'm going to try to do, and this might be something that you guys can utilize. A lot of truck drivers plan their end of day trip um, around truck stops. I'm going to plan mine around gyms. If you've got a membership to any of the gyms that'll let you go to them nationwide, 
Guys, everything that's in the truck stop is at the gym. The only thing you've got to watch out for is parking. And um, the plan that I have with the gyms I'm going to try to go to, and I'll mention their names later, seems to have adequate parking. They got your shower, they got TVs. The only thing you would need to do is plan your food. And most of the time, there's somewhere to eat close by a gym, and usually it's healthy food. So that's how I'm going to try to plan my days to end around the gym, park there, work out, shower up, then head back to the truck, start my day from that point. That's how I plan to make my fitness goals work. And then on the weekends, I'm going to do all my weightlifting here at my wife. So guys, that's what's going to happen. And um, just try to be positive, try to learn, try to stay progressing on my goals. And um, guys, that's it. Like I said, no more Cody videos from here. Uh, maybe one more and I'm going to pass it, pass all my Cody folks to Mark and um, I'm going to get ready to get on out of here guys. But let me show you what they give you on your last day of week three. You're going to get this big old box just like this. In that box it's going to have everything you need for the road. They're going to give you a kingpin lock because guys when you're doing relays or dropping off trailers you want to lock. You want to put a lock on that kingpin because you know um, Theft is real out there in these trucks. If you don't know that, folks be trying to steal trucks, especially if you got a high value truck. All right? You're going to get this certificate that says you've graduated Snyder Training. You're going to get a book that's going to have the uh, motor carrier's manual that's going to be on your truck. You're going to also get in that same kit straps to put in put in the back of the trailer. Some people want you to have things strapped up. You're going to need those. They're going to give you some duct tape. They're going to give you a lock so that you can lock the trailer. They are going to give you these seals. All Snyder trucks need to be sealed and locked. If you have a load, it's got to be sealed. If there is no load, it's got to be locked. And so if the shipper doesn't give you a seal, you've got to put your own seal on it. And um, they'll teach you that in class. You're gonna get this little bill of lading book. If for some reason the shipper doesn't give you one of these, you're gonna need it. You gotta have one of those. They're gonna give you some checks in the event that you gotta pay a lumper. And what a lumper is, is someone that unloads your truck for you. Um, you can write them a Snyder check. Uh, and just in case you don't have the cash on you, what else? You're gonna get the Snyder fuel card. What else you gonna get in there? You're going to get um, a couple of these, and you've got to put these on your loads. You're going to get a trip sheet. Snyder wants these every time you've done with a trip. Um, so whenever you get a chance to go to a truck stop, you can file and scan them. But Snyder has an app that you guys can utilize to just take the picture and send it on there. You know, they're utilizing technology very well. What else they got in here? They've got a... Repa replacement driver's log in the event geo fails and you have to call technical support you keep up with your logs and then you can get green bay to tell you what you've done the previous seven days by law you've got to keep this in your truck and guys that's pretty much it they give you a driver resource manual to help you out uh they do a real good job of trying to make sure that you're safe out there on the road guys i guess in closing, other things you might want to get to put on your truck to be safe. Um, you want to go get you maybe a little hammer so you can check your tires. Snyder doesn't allow knives greater than four inches, no guns, anything like that. You can have pepper spray to protect yourself. You might want to get a broom to sweep out your trailer. Um, get you some good gloves so that you can pump your diesel. Um, uh, you might want to get you maybe an iPod with an auxiliary cable so that you can listen to your music. Slider has a strip no cell phone while the truck is in motion usage so you don't want to do that and um guys i mean say some prayers and be confident out there but don't be overconfident and do the best you can to get your loads there on time drive the trailer not the truck and um try to learn from those that have helped you out and i want to give a shout out to um, all the people in truckers path and time that have been uh, let me know some things this is jeffries who has a wonderful trucking business if y'all get into that group speak to her she'll let you know what's going on montana um casanova hear me roar he's been helping me out a little bit the right brother my main man um mr fit trucking has been looking out for me and i just want to thank all those guys who helped me get to this point 
and have been giving me insight and just kind of teaching me what to do so that I can be successful out here on the road. So guys, that is it. Don't forget to like this video, comment, subscribe, go out there and get yourself a life game. Stay tuned for my next video where I'll be shooting it from you on the road. Peace out.